holiday parties, the photos, the buying gifts. It's so much. It's the most wonderful time of the year, and it's also the most stressful, right? Parentologist Dr. Kim Van Dusen joining us today to share how some tips on how you can manage it all. I am, I am all ears. <laughs> I am all done. I want to enjoy this season, but it comes with a lot. It does. Yes, it does. It's a lot, and I think all of us, all of us, you know, all of us, whether you're a parent or not, you're in a full adrenaline state during this time of the month because you are just on the go. Like we talked about earlier, we're you know, going to holiday parties, you have work events, you have you know, buying presents for people, maybe you're traveling, like there's so much going on and the stress levels just get higher and higher and higher the more we are putting on our plates. Yeah, I get to tell the parents at, at home right now, if you have like kiddos watching right now, maybe like scoot them out <laughs> of the room or put your fingers on there because I wanna, you got it? Parents at home. <laughs> You know that elf that keeps showing up in our house every oh, yeah. night? Yeah, that, every that night. That thing is a source of stress. Every it's night. causing a mess in our house every yes. night. Yes, absolutely. So much mischief going on. And, you know, we're up late because we're hearing noises of the elf moving around the house. And then you wake up early because the kids are excited to see what the elf did the next morning. And there's a lot of loss of sleep in all of that. There is. <laughs> there are so many expectations, though, because yeah. it's supposed to be the most beautiful time of the year. I don't know about you, but you, like, want to do everything perfectly. Yeah. And sometimes setting those expectations expectations is what sets you up for more stress yes absolutely and I think you know I was just talking to someone earlier about living in this Pinterest world or living in this Hallmark movie or in this little snow globe that we you know picture when we think of the holidays you know we want to make it magical for our children and so we do all the things and I think sometimes when we set those expectations so high they're not realistic anymore and the more we we try to do sometimes they're not going as yeah. well and then we get stressed out and we're like no you will enjoy this hot chocolate <laughs> you will Finish enjoy sitting chocolate. on santa's lap you know it's it's hard because we want to make it the great for them but that also sets up a lot more stress for us i i have this here on on accident with my papers but like seriously i'm not kidding kim this is my excel spreadsheets of um presents and the cost and the budget and all oh, the finances and is there because it's very expensive it's very expensive um is there such thing some people look at me sideways they're like i can't believe you made an excel like spreadsheet but i think planning proper planning prevents yes. poor performance and lessens the stress yes. is there such thing as too much planning you know, I would say yes and no. I think the more I plan, the, the better my day goes, right? And we have our to-do list, and the more I can check off, and the more structured events and, and things I set up for my kids, let's say, after school, it seems to go a little bit easier. So I am a planner, and so I do think that planning does cause less stress. What I would say, though, on the flip side, is when we plan too much, that also plan, you know, um, causes too much stress. So I think having that middle ground, being flexible, being patient, knowing things won't always go as planned, and accepting that and maybe just setting more boundaries saying no to more things and saying okay what do I really want to prioritize okay I really want my kids to make cookies after school and have hot chocolate and you know watch a nice holiday movie mm -hmm. after school okay that's it but anything else that's extra that you may not necessarily have to do put out put that off to the next day right so plan enough for just the day just for the day and then yeah. everything else can we, wait we have a rule in our family too it's like one we do one thing yes especially during the week and then after that it's a no. Exactly. Yeah. And then everything else, because I feel like this time of year, there's so many obligations. There's so many things we could do, but that's where we have to really prioritize and say, what do I have to do? And then feel grateful for it, right? Instead yeah. of saying, oh, I have to buy you know, all these gifts for kids, or I have to do all this and I have to do all that. It becomes very burdensome. And if we say, I'm grateful I have the opportunity, opportunity and just changing our, yes. our mindset a little bit and saying, I get to do all these things. And I get to also say no to things I don't necessarily want to do is also really empowering. Okay, so I'm going to put this in, <laughs> in the um, context of food. I get to eat all these cookies. <laughs> I get to have all this champagne. Right. But, and food can also be a source of stress. It can. It can. A lot of people worry about, you know, their body image this time of year, right? They're worried if I if I splurge and eat too much, then I'm going to be a little bit behind my, my goals for the new year or something like that. Or, you know, we've seen with kids, you know, there's a lot of, you know, candy canes and, yes. and candy and the more sugar and the more red dyes and the more synthetic dyes and the more processed foods will affect their mood and behavior. And so the more they have that, the more they will be flying off the walls and they will be having more mood swings and power struggles and meltdowns. And so 
the time of year is a struggle because you want to, you know, also balance the food that you're eating too and make yeah. sure you're still maintaining a healthy diet. You have so many tips and there are many more. And if you want to get more parenting tips, I mean, you're amazing with Thank all you. of them. You could check out Dr. Kim's website. To get there, you can head to our website and click the seat on top. Happy holidays. Thank Happy you holidays. for being here. Thank